Live. What's going on, everybody? I'm Thomas from Believe the Run. And Robbie. And today we're going to do the Rundown Live, which is basically covering a lot of stuff that's in our email. Our weekly email, which if you haven't subscribed, you should. please do so. You should. Either our Instagram link or on our website yeah. or wherever. We are. And uh, Megan is actually behind the camera moderating, so if you have questions about some of the things that we're talking about, hit us up with them. If they're not about what we're talking about, we'll give a couple minutes at the end and to go over any questions. And totally ignore them. Yeah. Just kidding. Yeah. Well, we'll answer whatever you have. But yeah, like Tom said, if it's in the moment, we'll, we'll answer that. But yeah. yeah. So, uh, Robbie, you put together the email. What's up? Okay. Yeah, so last week was our first episode, which, by the way, the video quality was. Eh. This one's. So, like, this one's much better, I think. Yay! <laughs> Megan says so, anyways. Yeah. So hopefully you'll be able to tell like what actually what shoes we're talking about. Um, so last week had a lot of shoes too. We kind of covered a lot and got a lot of new shoes in. This week it's a little bit slower, but we have a couple mm. things that we can go over. I was hoping to be holding right in front of you the Zoom Fly Three, Thomas which is arriving today. It just hasn't arrived yet. He's like, tracking you via. Literally just got back like two minutes ago from like running around like a chicken with his head cut off, going to the office trying to pick up these shoes. Hey, I want to give the people what they want. Mm -hmm. Zoom fly three. People will want to see that. But he neglected to pick up my Hope Does Upon Us clothes, which yeah. Came in and I will get those for him though next week. So yeah. Um, so anyways, so we don't have the shoe in our hands, but you can imagine what it looks like if you saw the review. So the New Balance Fresh Bones. So fresh and so bones. Which one are you talking about? Uh, the Beacon. The Beacon. We got yes. it. Megan, yes. throw me the Beacon. Oh, yeah, Megan does have a copy of it. Yeah, a pair. A copy of it. Yeah. yeah. Forgeries, but not from China. Well, they probably That's are. Great. They're the real one. That's how we get all our reviews. Yes. How many? So many shoes. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So this is the Fresh Bone Beacon. Megan, what are your thoughts on the shoe? I feel like I the liked polish, it. I feel like the polish wore off on this. Shoe. Like it was such a hot shoe last year, and now people are like, "This is great. This yeah. is alright." Yeah, like, well, so Dave Ames, he's our West Coast guy, um, actually from the East Coast, but now he's got Long Beach, yeah, LBC, LBC. LBC. <laughs> <laughs> that place. Yeah. Um, but he's also Thomas's coach. He he is. On great coach. coach. Shout out. Yeah. Um, but anyways, he loved the first version like a ton, and then this version, he actually felt was like too firm almost, which he loves firm shoes, so he thought that was kind of creepy. I think when you have but a firm shoe that's got this much stack, it makes a difference because if you have a firm shoe that isn't this high stack, it still has some flexibility in it. I mm -hmm. think when you get a firm shoe, high stack, you kind of have, it's right. harder for your foot to just push through and get that toe off sensation you like. And this shoe, you can see, it doesn't have a huge toe off. So if, if it's not bending, Right, you're fighting your foot to get the turnover. But like, but Jared loved it. Um, mm -hmm. He thought it was, he was a big fan of it, and Megan was totally most fine with it too. There really isn't much different than the last version. Just the upper, um, which is just the upper, and you got this little flare away. So that's the cool thing these days. I, I, I call it the elf spoiler. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but the old yeah. Keebler, the old Keebler elf spoiler. Yeah. And, and any questions on this shoe, Megan? Anybody have any questions? Or everybody's good with it. Everyone's real quiet. All right. Okay. So let's move on. Okay, so next, and this isn't like the hottest shoe ever, but honestly, it's been one of my favorite shoes. And it probably talked about it way too much on the site and other it's, Facebook stuff. It's dirty as hell. <laughs> it is dirty as hell. So this is the Topo Mountain Racer. Did you Topo, Topo Athletic, which I think there's another company called Topo. Well, it's, it's shortened for Tony Post, who started Topo Shoes. So. I wonder if there was a Topo before, and then he was like, oh, let me, you know, I gotta put an athletic on there. Yeah, I mean, that happens a lot. We're big run media, because, yeah. you know, there's other big runs out there. Yeah. yeah. Um, so this is their Mountain Racer, which is a trail shoe that's meant for, like, rugged scenarios, but it's also lightweight. I think it's, like, is it 9.3 ounces? So it's pretty nice for a trail shoe. But it has, like, a Vibram Mega Grip outsole, which is super rugged. I mean, that's about as good as an outsole as you're going to get. It's going to hold up against anything. And, it, and Tony Post... Do you know what he's kind of famous for? Mm, CrossFit Post? No, I mean, he's the one who came up with the Vibram Five Fingers. I actually didn't even know that. And worked at Vibram, okay, so I guess his, his relationship with Vibram is pretty tight. That's awesome. So, yeah. Matter of fact, when the first toe post came out, they had a split toe, like for a big toe. But you know what the problem with that is? Toe post. You gotta have socks. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they no, hear. Like they can't hear you. They can't hear at all. Hold on, let me put my volume up. Talk. Hey. Yeah. No, you're fine. Turn okay. up the volume yeah. on your computer. Boom. There's a little a thing called V O L E. Boom. Just yeah. hit that up. So I want to know when the Sketchers go run Carbon Elite will be available. Ooh. Ooh. We will get we will get, get to that in just a second. Oh, down. We can go to the first two minutes of the video. Uh, everyone's just talking about carbon fiber plates on here. All right. Calm down about the carbon. The guy is on solo. Yeah. And, and guess what? I think there's something coming to replace carbon plates, but I can't really talk about it. I, Hypercarbon? It's kind of going to be something like that. Yeah. Pursuing 26.2 says he demands the fiber. All right, all right, all right. Calm down. Let's, let me talk about my topo. Holy crap. <laughs> my favorite shoe right now. <laughs> so anyways, I do love the topo. Um, like, I did a 50-mile race. Don't brag. I'm just going to throw that out there. Yeah, nice, I've right. been talking about as much as I have because I've been not running for three, three yeah. next year to that race. He um, did all his running in a like compressed <laughs> day. My July, June running. <laughs> it was like, I got 50 miles, 50 miles for the month. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, I wore this for the first 38 miles of that race, which is like super technical, rocks and roots and twists and turns, and it was awesome. I I loved everything about it. And then last 12 miles were more fiber, so I put on the Kyger fives, which worked well, but. Don't, I love this shoe way more than the Kyger Fives. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Like, People are saying the Pegasus. I'm getting a lot of positive feedback on the yeah. Pegasus trail. I wish you were running right now because I would stick you in them running because, like, my love for the trail is is small. Like, yeah. Lately, I don't know. We got a couple. Jared says hi from the car. Hi from the car, Jared. We miss you. We love you. Hopefully, you'll be back next week. Yeah. That's our resident flat foot Barney Rubble. Flat foot. Flat yeah. foot. Yeah, for reviewer. So. so anyways, yeah, this was a great shoe. It's it's a good shoe for those like in between. Uh, like they have the Topo has the Hyperventure 2, which is a waterproof shoe. And this is now slowly fading out of the picture. Go buy this shoe if you want a really good I'm sure shoe. And and you can read the full review of that on Believe in the Run. Yes, you, you should probably do a video review of that because you seem to love it. I do love it, but maybe we do it. All right, so one of the most popular things on our Instagram account this week, I think it's my awesome photo I skills. I can actually see that yeah, issue. It's, it's like tissue paper. <laughs> um, I think it was my photo skills are yeah, pretty mad. Thomas, just somebody give a shot on but, photo skills. Please. Yeah, I mean, it, it's badass. Uh, but this shoe, the Speed Elite, is really, we're not going to probably re-review it because we reviewed this, which is the Speed Elite in Zebra Flage. So we've already kind of run this shoe, worn this shoe. Uh, it was nice enough. Sketches had an extra pair laying around that happened to be in MIG size, and they said, hey, you want it? And I hadn't seen the color and the, um, the treatment of the shoe. And I have to say, all of people want the zebra. This is so much cooler than the zebra when you see it in, Pretty awesome. in real life. I mean, it is. There's, it's see-through. The material is, is super high-tech looking. Did, you talk, did we post? How, or, yeah, tell them how much it weighs. It's, it's insane. Meg, what did this weigh? It was 4.4. Yeah. Yeah, 4.4 ounces for a women's seven and a half. I think, uh, I mean, this one was pretty light. Yeah, it was seven and a half. Seven and a half. Yeah, I mean, yeah. 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 183 grams for this one. By the way, technically, I can't see it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's true. I have no, yeah. I would have no complaints. Love it. But yeah, so any questions about this shoe? Uh, since we've already kind of gone over it before. Or? Come on, carbon nerds, get your yeah. questions in. Who wants the carbon? By the way, did they ever release the that in the zebra flash that like fit? In they the haven't zebra released zebra the shoe. Way? We're not gonna see. I don't, I don't think you may see something this fall, but it sounds like there's Still new technology good. going in this shoe. Um, Pursuing 26.2 says, can I have a pair? And then Keanu Reeves says, Vaporfly next or Elite? Oh, well, thanks, technically. I mean, if I could get my hands on the Vaporfly <laughs> next, I could tell you. Uh, but I probably, right now, I would like to see a Vaporfly next. So Just in person? <laughs> yeah, just in person. Uh, it, it sounds like they're going to be widely available, though, like in, in talking to some of the retailers. Uh, I don't think there's going to be, I mean, they might trickle it out just to create demand, but you know how everybody can get a fly knit uh, vapor fly right now? I think the next is going to be. Like right off the bat, you think they're going to come out? I, I think, I think there's, if you really want them, 
retailers are going to have them, you're going to be able to get them. You may want to act quickly, but you're going to be able to... Have you tried the Peg Turbo 2 yet? Uh, no, we have not done the Peg Turbo 2. I'm actually not that interested in it. I mean, it's the same well, midsole. It's just a slightly different upper, and this wasn't one of my favorite shoes. I know a lot of people that works for them. I think this is... I think it was like split, though. It seemed that yeah. people either loved or hated it. People loved or hated it. For me, um, you know, every once in a while I put this back on and just try it to see if maybe I missed something, <laughs> but it seems like um, it, it just didn't it, it just didn't happen for me. I'm really excited, like I said, about the Zoomfly 3. Uh, there was a couple things I felt like the React and the plate in the Zoomfly um, Flynet worked really well. I felt like the way that the Flynet worked with the midsole didn't work for me. It felt really bottom heavy and, and like a pendulum. So I'm hoping that the new upper and uh, you know just having that kind of update on there and taking care of the Epic React will be able to uh, make me enjoy the shoe a lot more. So I'm excited about that. This one, I don't even know if we're gonna review the two. Yeah, I, I think I might just wait till list. yeah, till the three, just because I didn't love it, and yeah, it's a minor update. It's a new. They took away the stripe. I mean, but it's still the same. Any Nike up. shoe is good for us, but we're probably not on the top of the top five brands yeah. that we're trying to review right now. Yeah. So we'll, we'll wait on that. Anything else about the uh, the Speed Elite? No. Nah. Yeah. I think uh, there's going to be some changes to this that are going to be substantial. You don't, so. mind, uh, you don't mind the lettering? I, know I don't care about that. I know people get triggered by the lettering. <laughs> like, it's if, because you're, it, if you're that worried that speed is seen as bragging. I think it's people that don't know how to read. Is it? Yeah. They're, they're like, they're, they don't understand it. Or maybe they're reading it backwards. They have, that's like they're they're dis 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 dyslexia. It's <laughs> <They're> Hebrew. They <laughs> read yeah. from right to left. Deeps. Yeah. I don't want deeps on my <laughs> shoes. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Uh, why did it say deeps? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm looking at it backwards. Okay. Yeah. Deeper to deeps. Yeah. So anyways. Yeah. Alright. Um, alright. What else we got? Do you want to answer a couple questions? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Vomera 14 or the Clifton 6? I would go Clifton 6. And the reason I would do that is while I love the Vomera, it was one of my top shoes last year. Yeah, you were loving that. I was. Remember. I was. And so weird thing about reviewing <laughs> shoes, you your taste is based on what's available. And I don't know. If you look, I'm now going all the way into Robbie's butt to get this. But, um, <laughs> if it's not yeah. NSFW people. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you really look at it, the stack height in the back isn't that much different. And then I just felt like this is a really stable, solid feeling platform where, which by the way, Hoka Clifton 6. Yeah, Hoka Clifton 6, Vimera 14. The Vimera 14 isn't as smooth through my stride as the Clifton 6, but I mean, this is going to be going on sale. It's got to be going on sale. It has to be. Yeah. I might pick this one up on sale no matter what, and I would definitely check this out. I don't know if you guys saw on Instagram, I posted a new shoe called the Joyride, and I have a feeling, I mean, the Joyride is going to probably... Did they replace it, or just... I don't know if it's going to replace it. It's the same type of shoe, though. It's like, yeah. I don't think it's a fast shoe. I think it's a, a shoe that you're going to do daily training, and that is what I did like about the shoe. This one felt great on daily runs. I actually like this better than the Pegasus, and I felt like you can pick up the pace. It's a little heavy. Do you think um, it's a good shoe for, like, someone starting out? Yeah. I think if you're new to running, it's a great shoe. I don't think you can go wrong with this shoe either, though. Yeah, it's a classic. Yeah. Some people think it looks horrible, but for me, I guess I have... Megan talks about beer goggles with Hoka's, <laughs> and I kind of have beer goggles for this shoe because it feels good. Like, I have nice runs in it. it. They just feel good, and it looks good, and plus, I'm like an inch and a half taller. Yeah. I love to dunk. I dunk on people Dude, all the time. Huge dunks. Yeah. Like, it's like an NBA jam when you're hanging out with I'm up. Bam! It's coming down. So don't hate. Um, any Mizunos on the radar Wave Sky 3? That's actually, we have that, I think that's coming out on Monday. Our review's coming on Monday for that. Okay. I think Taylor had that. Taylor Boy Wave Sky. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's a he just, solid runner, so we should get uh, good feedback. Yeah. He liked the uh, last Mizuno he ran it. He liked the, well, I will say, he liked it, the comfort. 
for of it, but then just it was like crazy heavy. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, the thing. I didn't think it was what she was. Wasn't as bad as it looked. What <laughs> you wrote. That was the weight. Mm-hmm. It's always good when you can say it's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> it was not a good looking shoe. No. Okay, the Rincon or the Beacon Two. I go Rincon. I mean, I just that uh, I mean, I don't think Did anybody here's uh-huh. uh, running the Rincon but me so far. Yeah. And I I think the Rincon is is just such a fun shoe, and it's I would say to me it's a little softer, more flexible. The toe off is a little faster than the Beacon. Um, That's like one of your favorite shoes so far. <laughs> yeah, it's up there. It, it's kind of weird. It starts off a little firmer and gets a little softer, and I think some people are gonna like that. For me, I, I did, I, I kind of missed a little bit of the firmness when she softened up. But it took, it took some miles to get there. Cool. New Balance Beacon or the Peg Turbo? I mean, just kind of told you how I yeah. felt about you, that. Have you been watching the video? <laughs> oh, I've seen that before. I mean, they're, 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 they're kind of <laughs> totally different shoes. I mean, if you're a super Nike fan and you like a soft, Landing with a you if know, you're a super Nike fan, you're probably going to get in anyway. Yeah. So there's no point in go it. turbo. <laughs> um, but if like the beacon's a little firmer, it's going to be a little bit. Um, I think for me, the beacon's a little easier to pick up the pace in just because of the firmness. Yeah. Dave was complaining about the way the the toe off felt in the beacon. Um, so I think I, I yeah. don't really know what to tell you. I personally, I probably just because I love the look of Nikes, even though I don't love Turbo, I'd probably pick the Turbo. All right, should we get into uh, an- another upcoming shoe here? Wow. All right. So, <laughs> I'm on the perennial search for a good on running shoe. I don't know why. I don't, I just it's like it's stuck on me now. Like I've had so many bad experiences with them. I'm like, there has to be a good one out there. Like, there has to be, right? I mean, I've tried a lot. I don't know if this is going to be the one. I've stopped, I've stopped trying. <laughs> but this, so this is the On Cloud Stratus. And it's their new Max Comfort shoe. Max Cushion shoe. Mm-hmm. So uh, so it has this, look, check it out. Like double, dual layer. Of, like before. Of Cloud Tech. Before you had one layer of Cloud Tech. Yeah. yeah. Look at these suckers. This was the coolest looking shoe that felt shitty to run in. <laughs> anyway. So look, you said, oh look, there's... There's something stuck yes, in shot my shoe. What is that coming out? Uh, it's, it's like a whole there's bush. There's a tree, tree it's like a whole bush in this shoe. It looks like it looks like a warehouse, a band warehouse in Baltimore. Trees growing out. It, do, it does. <laughs> it does. Maybe I should go leave this. Out. Yeah. Anyway, that upper doesn't look that different from this one. It doesn't. Uh, but look, they went from you know just individual pods to now. Yeah, that's like now. I guess to make it max cushion, there's dual layer pods. Um, and then of course it has the paint speed board underneath, which I want to throw out every time I see it, but it's, so it's, just, hard. it's just so hard. It always is for me. I do like the upper though. Like I've always said in all my reviews, I like the upper. Um, the lacing of this like weird, like look at this like offset. Look how down the lacing is. That is crazy. Like there's like these corners down here. So that's interesting. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It weighs like, what do we weigh that? 10.8 ounces for a size 8. Ah, that would be, I think that would yeah, weigh like to over 12 ounces for yeah. my size 10 half. It's a heavy shoe. This was a light one, but yeah, it hurt your feet when you're mad in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing I had with the uh, Rock Bow. Anyways, does anybody out there have a, a on shoe that they love? Yeah, I'd love to hear your opinions. And if you've run in any other kind of shoes. Yeah. But I want to love them. I really do. So I hope um, hope they all come around at some point. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah. So let's see. What else we got? Do you want some questions? Yeah. Yeah. What are you guys' favorite long run shoes right now for training, Ooh. not racing? Ooh. I mean the Clifton the Clifton Six is up there for that. Um, I actually liked the New Balance Rebel quite a bit. Um, even though it's for speed, the this fuel cell. Oh, it was really good. That's why I'm excited for the uh, Propel to come out because I think that's going to be more accommodating for like the long run. Yeah. But I would go Clifton. I go Rincon. Um, I'm excited to see if the Zoom Zoom Fly Three fits into that category. I'm gonna. I'm debating. I haven't put it on my foot yet, but once it gets here today, I have a race on the Fourth of July, a six K, and 
you know, I could whip out, you know, some of the fashions. I mean, what are you thinking about? I'm thinking maybe the Zoom Fly. Is it a Zoom Fly or is it a Saucony Type A9? But, um, yeah, daily run, Pe Pegasus, I would go, uh, Clifton. Okay. Yeah. So what do you think? What, what about Carbon X? Because Dave... Oh, I, do like, I do like the Carbon X. Dave doesn't it's like it, man. It's next to you. I'll, I'll put it over here. I was looking. Carbon X. Yeah. It's back. I mean, I've run two runs where I really liked it, and... Well, Dave, run where I didn't like it. Dave's like already run through like a whole pair. Has he really? Yeah. yeah Dave, Dave likes it firm, and this is firm. Yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty firm. firm. Um, it's it's a good shoe. Oh. This, this one I do I do like. It. I don't know. Like we just if, I don't know if you guys watched the Carbon X review. Pretty much sums up how I feel about the shoe. It hasn't really changed. Yeah. Oh, which by the way, yeah, the Carbon X video review is up. And guess what? It's on our YouTube channel, which you're watching now. So, yeah, so you know where how to get there. Don't leave the live yeah. show. We also, uh, I don't know if you noticed, we did a review with Jamie. Oh, uh, yeah. Mr. Uh, Jameson, Jameson runs with this shoe, the Skechers Go Run 7. Um, and that is up on his channel. It's lots of Thomas uh, legs showing there. Yeah, lots really of legs. Good to see that. If you want to see my stride, there it is. And, yeah. and pretty much... I always think that my heel is hitting. Yeah, I was actually going to, I was literally just going to mention, I didn't know you were a four foot runner there, Thomas. Yeah, I'm a, mid, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a mid foot, like this, look yeah, how yeah. white, you know, yeah. on the backside of the shoe. Yeah, yeah um, I, I run on, I run on my toes. I actually spent time trying to lean back and, and let my heel land. Yeah. It feels like it when I'm running that it's landing, but then when I see video, I'm it's like, not. Uh, <laughs> so that is why my calves have gotten meaty. Yeah. Uh, I'm, up, I'm up on my toes. Yeah, you could definitely get a couple meals off those yeah, you in can. a desperate situation. Yeah. Part, yeah. Speaking of Flintstones, it's like that thing that you yeah. <laughs> It's like a huge drumstick on the yeah. That's fair. <laughs> Yo! Those are so gross. <laughs> they look tasty when you see That's what it would look like if you fried it up. Pretty much. Yeah. It, they look Zoom Fire Carbon X. Oh, I will let you know. That is something that I will let you know because that's a good comparison. Yeah. Because it's a. Medium stack carbon plate. Let's go fast. Ah, you know I, I get such a boner for Nike. Well, we'll find out. What is our next? It's gonna be hard not to say yeah. say the same line. But we'll see. I actually, I kind of yeah. Yes. Tell, don't ask any more Nike questions. Yeah. It's gonna get real weird in here. <laughs> okay, is it hot in here? <laughs> um, yeah. Well, the um, I, I mean, I did kind of hand the Zoom fly last time, but like, and uh, I actually sent it back to Nike. Um, it just but not because, before doing a review on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was, it just, in my stride, it didn't work for me. And the original Zoom Fly, this one, oh, I hated it. Mm. Hated it. So I'm really, this is what I'm thinking. Breezy Charm, yeah. that new geometry that looks like the new uh, Vapor Fly next. Uh, I, I'm really hoping, praying that it does the trick. And yeah, I'm excited to try it. I'm excited for you to try it. Yeah. <laughs> Not as excited as you <laughs> All right, Ultra Boost 19 or the Clifton 6? Mm -hmm. Oh, I go Wait. Clifton 6. Here's why. This sucker, gorgeous. All right. And it feels good in the run, but it's a little heavy. Um, the Clifton is much lighter. I think, like, I forget. What my longest run was in this. I think I actually did do a long run I think in this. You did. And my legs were okay, so I don't want to pan it on the weight too bad because it's just so smooth. But let's be honest, that shoe looks so much better than Clifton. It, this is a sexy shoe. <laughs> You're going to want to, like, I still, I just pull this out for casual wear because I dig it. Yeah. I need to wash it. But um, yeah, I love this shoe a lot, but if I was purely on performance, I'd go Clifton 6. If it was looks and performance, Uh, ride I mean, ISO. This is the original boost. Look how ugly it is. It's like all all towed up. Ride ISO two versus the Ghost twelve. How many know what those shoes are? Oh, the ride's a Saucony ride. Um, you run in the Ghost and the Ghost. I, yeah, I, I we I didn't run in the Ghost. We get to Megan Lenoir. Yeah, and I, I assume that's how you pronounce her name. She's 
She likes it. She said it was yeah. her new favorite daily train. That's right. Yeah, what did she yeah. say? Um, I think, yeah, I both. I like that you're comparing those two shoes because I feel like Saucony and Brooks are putting out similar product right now. Like, it's not a, that exciting. But he, it's solid. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you can count on it. I would probably, for me, I mean, flip a coin on that one. Yeah. yeah you're not going to get, the styling isn't better on one. The, uh, and they're the, coming at a, like, decent price point, too. So. Yeah. And that is the nice thing about Brooks is that you're never going to, Drop one hundred fifty dollars and be disappointed. <laughs> like, yeah, for one hundred one hundred ten bucks, you're gonna get solid. Shoes. I mean, I, but I think people don't try enough shoes on their own. Like, really, with like Running Warehouse and even Nike and some right. of the other sites, you can get the shoe, you can try it for thirty days, yeah. and send it back. Like, or you can, before your credit card, days, yeah, yeah, before your credit card gets charged, and you can return the shoe yeah. you don't want. And there's really no point in not if you have a shoe you don't like. Yeah, it's, that's your own fault if you keep it. Yeah, it's yeah. your fault. Now you're running around right. like. Um, but yeah, so a couple more things that we talked about in the email. Um, we did an interview this week with the Coro CEO, uh, Louis Liu, which I kind of talked to him. It's pretty cool just hearing about Coro's history. Um, I mean, he's pretty much a badass, too. At the Vertex. He is, he is a badass. He did, uh, he like does alpine glacier climbing stuff. I don't even know if that's the right word for it. Like, two words I hate <laughs> is freezing cold temperatures. <laughs> And using an ice pick on anything. Yeah, it seems unnatural. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's not like a good time. I, get, I feel like if I would never do ice climb, it's like at some point I'm just going to lose. Like, yeah. I'm going to die, right? Yeah, like, I think I that's why you do it. It's like, they can't call this a suicide. Right? <laughs> yeah. I was climbing. Climbing. <laughs> um, that and dodging cars yeah. on the freeway. Yeah, that should be the Which uh, Michael Warden is going to do the FKT. On the Washington uh, Beltway. Really? Like yeah. 695? Oh, yeah. Oh, like the whole way around? The whole way around. He would do that. Yeah. That's insane. He wants to do the Baltimore one next, but uh, I mean. <laughs> Dude, I don't want to do a Baltimore one. Like a, a Baltimore thing that I want to run. I don't think those are it, but I, I mean, Michael's is running out of space on this planet to run. That's so true. He might I just love it. it. That's so ridiculous. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Um, yeah, anyway, so in that, uh, yeah, in that course interview, he was talking about how, the CEO was talking about how he ran this race in China, which is a ultimate trail race in his hometown. And there's like 5,000 5, 5, people 5, in a race that has like 80K. It's like 15,000 feet of climbing. But the one course sponsored athlete, uh, Hayden Hawks, he set the course record on that course. It was like crazy muddy, crazy rains and everything. And he was wearing the Ultra King MT. Which... which yeah, Thomas has tested out a little bit last week, and we talked about it a little yeah. bit. Yeah, and my, my whole feeling was that this shoe is meant for fast runners, and now he kind of proves it. Um, yeah, definitely. When I say fast runners, like this shoe, it, it, it's not for me. I think uh, I think it's for for people faster than me. Yeah. Um, like I, I would think that uh, Jeremy Ardenoy, if he's watching, uh, yeah, he's probably not. He's probably got a job. He doesn't even know what um, is. Yeah. The, uh, but like Jeremy, I think we really benefit from a shoe like this yeah. on the trail. This is a pretty and yeah, I, I haven't loved ultra shoes in the past. Like the design, like they're getting last, better. I feel like last year, six months, like really stepping up their game. They put out they I got think they're the now Escalante they're Racer. They I think they are. It's a little bit a little bit don't notice. Yeah, somebody's like, like you know, if we just take yeah. a little bit in, it won't look like. I a mean, like the Escalante thing. Racer and the Escalante. Those are nice looking shoes. Let me, do I have any old ultras here? Because like you can look at it. Yeah. We need to get out the uh, pro track here and see some entry. Oh, yeah. No, you guys gotta make sure you're holding the shoes up high. Oh, sorry about that. It, it's holding okay. it up high, bro. I, I usually get hit of all the ultras that feel ugly. <laughs> In the past, they're looking better. Yeah. Um, they're getting there. I have an old pair of Topas. They kind of have that. Any feedback on the there. Ultra Escalon, too? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, our boy, Jared, who's watching from his car. Has been wearing the Escalante too, and he likes it. He said one of the problems that he's having is the volume over the toes is very narrow, so he's getting a little bit of height. Like it's still wide enough for his foot, but the toe box is shallow, so the volume of his foot. It's a it's a knit upper though. Like I feel like it should stretch out for him over time. Yeah, you can kind of see that with the shoe too. It's pretty low profile. Yeah. But again, that one is better looking than like they really are. So much better. Yeah. 
Like even the new version of the touring, which we reviewed a couple weeks ago, like the last version was horrendous. It looked like the like the most poorly designed skate you could ever imagine. You want to feel a light ultra? Feel this one. That's crazy light. Isn't that? Wait, what? Um, That's a vanished one. Oh, right, right, right. It's weird. It's everything. Yeah. Just in case <laughs> you can't see it. I mean, people that don't, is crazy light though. You know, people don't complain that this one has big writing on the yeah. side like that. I think people were just connecting. Maybe because you're like, this is just so ugly anyway. I think it's just that Skechers started with the S and then we're back down and people are still offended yeah. by it. Propelled light. Yeah. Anyways. All right. Um, we're getting ready. What else do we got? Oh, so this weekend is Western States Endurance Run. Mm -hmm. Which, um, have you ever known anyone who's run? Uh, yeah. Um, did Maddie run that, Meg? I think so. Yeah, okay. Our friend Maddie ran it. Who, who's run Hat with us a few times. We used to do um, something we called uh, the Uncle Grandpa's Stupid 20 Miler, 20 -miler here in Baltimore. And That's the actual name of it? Yeah. That, yeah, that you made up? Yeah, I got a logo for it and everything. <laughs> and uh, we, uh, the people came down and, and ran that one was Maddie. And, Matt used to come every year for hats, so like we've run like four or five hats with, okay. with Matt. That's a 50k race in the local. She's also Maddie. run uh, Mont Blanc. Like she she was killing it for a while. Wow. And just just stabbing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she ran Western States. Uh, I actually, believe it or not, I qualified to put my name in a hat for Western States a long time ago uh, <laughs> when I did my first 50 miler. Did you? Uh, no, because I was a, I was afraid. Afraid you would actually get picked. Yeah, <laughs> I have to get out to California. And, I don't uh, know if I had like a desire to like qualify for it or something, or like even for run it. I mean, I think I think I wouldn't. I think I would like to go out there and crew maybe. Like if Megan would do it, you yeah. know, she hates any. She doesn't like she, marathons her race. Yeah, but if someday she was like, you know what, I want to do it. I think I would have a good time crewing. Yeah. Like I could run a little bit of the trails. I could uh, support. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, um, I do like that it's point to point intent. So it's point to point. You start off running up Squaw, and part of the reason, I mean, I grew up out there. Yeah. So I know what running up Squaw is like. Oh really? Okay. Like it's it's a. Do you do so you grew up near near there. Yeah, oh. that's our family. It's kind of funny. Before you and I got together. Her family was actually out there too, and we used to go to the same resort to uh, oh, that's wild. for camp. Of course, it's like seventeen minutes apart, yeah. but <laughs> that was different. Um, yeah, and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Western States that's coming up. Yeah, um, yeah we'll be interested to see. But, so one of the things in the email I wrote about was that Scott Jurek is guiding a blind runner or oh, wow. legally blind runner, which I don't. You know what that means? That means that legally your vision, I think, in each eye is at such a yeah. degraded level. I mean, here's the thing. Actually, really without my contacts, contacts, I think I'm legally blind. Yeah, yeah probably. So you call Scott Jerk. Yeah. yeah. And maybe he'll help you out. That'd be cool. The, uh, yeah, he probably sees lights and shapes and shadows, but, it, you know. Yeah. I don't know, man. He's the first, like, legally blind runner to run the race, so I'm sure he'll finish it. Because he's finished, like, three other 100 miles or something. Plus, he's got Scott Jerk running on. Yeah. I mean, he knows. I'd be like, I'm not quitting. Apparently, he knows how to trail run. This is Scott Jurek guy. <laughs> <laughs> and he vegetarian. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's going to be like eating it for like bacon. And Scott's like, oh yeah, I have some uh, cherry <laughs> juice. <laughs> Here's a, a scum my wife made. <laughs> also, I think uh, Ethan Newberry is going to be out there from Ginger Runner uh, with his wife. And they're going to be covering. I, I always love Ethan's stuff because. His photography is so good, he does good and job. he, you know, he writes his own music and stuff. He's just, he's a, he's a cool dude. Whenever you say Ginger Runner, I always get the Ginger Runner. Uh, that that thing. song, yeah. Can't, can't See, it that's how he did it. Brand it. But yeah, he's a good guy. We actually met <laughs> him um, a couple times, but uh, the one notable time was uh, at the New York City Marathon. Uh, we got to meet Meb and Kara Goucher, and I didn't recognize her, but Emma Coburn, and... Uh, Meg, Meg was like, hey, take a picture with her. She's a famous runner. I was like, okay, whatever. It's the only hey, thing. Get over here. Get over here. I want to choose a cheese. <laughs> the, and the only thing, the thing, the thing didn't come out. But uh, so not only did I not recognize Emma at the time, uh, but I lost the picture. But Emma, I don't know who you are now. 
I'm all over it. Yeah. Pizza time. Pizza time. <laughs> Close your race, thank you, sweet. I, did, I knew who Ginger Runner was, but didn't know who Emily Coburn was. That's the state of running. I mean, he does have a particular, like, he, if you see him once, like, you know who yeah. he is. Like, he's a, yeah, he's got a character. Yeah. Um, anyways, um, let's see, anything else we got coming up? Fourth of July, you got your Firecracker 6K. Mm-hmm. Dundalk. Going to be shooting Roman Candles off, running down Dundalk. Yeah. I think it's legal there. Yeah. Where are you going to be for Fourth of July? So I'm debating, I kind of want to do the night trail race before, uh-huh. so there's a night trail race around here, because that's apparently all I do now. And the Jeep's got a pencil lamp. And if you have a hundred yard pencil lamp that I should use, um, I've got it free. I'll tell you what, running dirt is pretty fun. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, so I'm, I'm torn between the two, I might run it, we'll see. Yeah, you could do both. Yeah. Like, you get that all your running done in one, one yeah, and 24 hour yeah, period. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see. But, um, yeah, I don't know. And we're trying to do maybe like a post about the 4th of July shoots coming out, so nice. we'll see about that, too. Yeah, red, white, and blue. Yeah. The color right. of the rainbow. Anything else you yeah. want to cover? Any questions to make? Uh, Epic React versus the Hoka Rincon. Hoka Rincon. Have you chaps had a chance to look at the new 4Runner 945? The new... Oh, oh no, 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 I have the 935. I was all excited. Like, I, I've been wearing that for a long time. We haven't. We should probably no. get a Garmin guy to do this. Uh, at this point, yeah. I mean, since Robbie can write such good reviews on watches, my Apple review is coming out. It's like, like child's play compared to Robbie's. Like, I like a watch. <laughs> I mean, no, but it's good. Like, it's so easy to get into all the technical details of everything. But, like, for an Apple watch, you know, I mean, you kind of know. Like, yeah. it's an Apple. I mean, I, that's the thing. Even with my 935, I only know how to do the things I need. Like, I set up workouts. Well, but I, you're, you're not someone who gets into, like, the super detailed stuff. No, like, right. You just want to do, like... In life in general. general. And that's what I... So, like, that's one of the things, and for real, this isn't, like, pitch to Coros, but, like... But I, did, I do like that they're watch, the Coros watches are, like... They don't have, like, the 16 different, like, things you can... It's just, like, pretty simple. It's, like, we got an awesome battery. You can do your runs, your workouts got your different screens and like that's it you know mm-hmm. like i mean there's a couple other things but like the garments like you need the music storage the apple like the garmin pay like is that yeah. the same? i don't even know if that's it's, the same thing as you just uh, you just attach your credit card to <laughs> yeah. it and it bluetooth it to the machine but like there's so much stuff on it i'm just like just give me a damn watch yeah i mean yeah i don't know I someday, someday that's funny someday someday it's talking to me I should, it reminds me of the apple pay i should talk about the apple pay thing because it, it is nice to be able to run yeah. And uh, have credit card I mean, I, built yeah. in. I didn't think about that. That is that, nice. Yeah, that is super nice. Yeah. And I'd probably use a Garmin Pay if I get the uh, 945. Yeah. But these things, mine mine has lasted so well. Like, I gave Meg my old one, the, what was it, the 235 or something, Meg? Um, I gave her my old watch, and it still works. This one still works. Like, yeah. they build a good product. Yeah. I mean, they better if they've been at it for so long. Yeah. yeah. Anyways. Um, any other questions? Uh, Ultra Boost 19 or Vermeer 14? You can ask other questions other than the first question. Ultra Boost, Ultra Boost 19. <laughs> still answer that, but. Um, That's it. All right. Okay. Hey, well, it's cool. Thanks for chilling with us again. Again, subscribe to the email if you want to get kind of like a, a skeleton of what we're going to be talking about on these live shows. And we'll see you for episode three next week. Check out the other socials too. Bye. Yeah. Bye, Megan. You don't know. Yeah, I can never turn this off. off. <laughs> Press the button. The button. It's right there. It's right there. Just unplug it. <laughs> Throw it out the window. <laughs> it's over. You know what you know. Okay. It's episode three.